सम नंबर थ्री मोरली एंड बंसी रन वृंदावन कंप्यूटर सेंटर फ्रॉम दैट ट्रायल बैलेंस एज ऑन थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ बार टू थाउजेंड सिक्स एंड एडजस्टमेंट प्रिपेयर फाइनल अकाउंट ऑफ देर फॉर्म इन ट्रायल बैलेंस यू आर गिवन कैपिटल एंड ड्रॉइंग्स ऑफ मोरली कैपिटल एंड ड्रॉइंग्स ऑफ बंसी सैलरी रेंट टैक्सीस कंप्यूटर्स ट्यूशन फी इन्वेस्टमेंट इन शेयर्स डिविडेंड ऑन शेयर्स कंप्यूटर्स रेंट इट्स एन इनकम रिपेयर्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर स्टेशनरी प्रिंटिंग ऑफिस एक्सपेंसिस फर्नीचर क्रेडिटर्स टैक्सीस बैंक बैलेंस कैश बैलेंस इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम टू थाउजेंड लोन फ्रॉम यू टी आई बैंक वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड यू आर गिवन सिक्स एडजस्टमेंट्स नाउ लेट स्टार्ट With adjustments, outstanding tuition fee is twenty thousand. Item relevant to this adjustment in trial balance is tuition fee two lakh ten thousand. So tuition fee ten two lakh ten thousand is received twenty thousand yet to be received. So total income of the firm is two lakh thirty thousand credited to profit and loss account, and amount receivable appears on the balance sheet asset side. Provide five percent depreciation on computers. Computers are four lakh, four lakh into five percent. Whatever the depreciation that you get is debited to profit and loss account and deducted from balance of computers on the balance sheet asset side. Five percent interest is payable on loan from UTI. Loan from UTI is one lakh fifty thousand. Five percent interest is payable. On liability side of the balance sheet, one lakh fifty thousand plus interest outstanding will be recorded, and interest being expense debited to profit and loss account. Bonus is to be paid five percent commission from the profit after deducting such commission. This adjustment will be considered at the moment of conclusion of profit and loss appropriation account. So we shall find out the divisible profit before commission. and on the basis of that calc after calculating commission we will give the effect of this adjustment 5% interest is to be paid on capital of partners interest of rupees 1000 and 1220 is to be charged to morley and bansri respectively this seems to be the interest on drawings Murli and Bansi would share half the profit in equal proportion and balance half in the proportion of capital. Now, this is a computer center which renders services. So, trading account is not required to be prepared. Now, let us start preparation of final accounts. So, we prepare here profit and loss account for the year ended on thirty first of March two thousand six. Profit and loss appropriation account, capital accounts, and the balance sheet as on thirty first of March two thousand six. First adjustment, tuition fee rupees twenty thousand is outstanding. Tuition fee income received to like ten thousand credited to profit and loss account. Add amount receivable outstanding. This receivable amount will appear on the balance sheet asset side. next provide 5% depreciation on computer balance of computer 4 lakhs calculate 5% there on so 4 lakhs into 5% that amounts to 20000 deduct depreciation from 4 lakhs and debit that to profit and loss account 5% interest is payable on loan from UTI Amount borrowed one lakh fifty thousand appears on the balance sheet liability side. Calculate five percent thereon. So one lakh fifty thousand into five percent, seven thousand five hundred interest payable. Interest payable is added to the principal sum on the balance sheet liability side, and this interest being expense debited to profit and loss account. Bonus is to be paid five percent commission from profit. 
after deducting such commission that we shall calculate after obtaining net divisible profit. 5% interest to be paid on capital of partners, capital of Morley and Bunsi is credited to their capital account 1,20,000 and 80,000 respectively. Calculate 5% interest thereon 1,20,000 into 5%, 6,000, 80,000 into 5%. 4000. This interest on capital is debited to profit and loss appropriation account and credited to partners capital account. Same way for Bansri, 4000 debited to profit and loss appropriation account credited to Bansri's capital account. If you want to record the journal entry for that is profit and loss appropriation account debit 10,000 to interest on capital of more than 6000 and interest on capital of Bansi 4000. Now this interest is transferred to the capital account. So interest on capital of Morley account debit, interest on capital of Bansi account debit to Morley's capital account and Bansi's capital account. This is how the journal entry could be passed. Interest on drawings 20,000 and 24,000 are the drawings debited to the partner's capital account. Interest on drawing debited to partner's capital account credited to profit and loss appropriation account. Same way for Bansi, 1220 debited to Bansi's capital account credited to profit and loss appropriation account. Morley and Bansi would share half the profit in equal proportion and balance in the half, balance half into proportion of capital. Let's first find out the profit then we shall do needful. Consider the other balances of trial balance, salary debited to profit and loss account, rent and taxes debited to profit and loss account, investment in shares asset side, dividend share income, profit and loss account credit, computers rent income credited to profit and loss account, repairs of computer expense debited to profit and loss account, stationery and printing expense debited to profit and loss account, office expense debited to profit and loss account, furniture being asset, balance sheet asset side, creditors liability, balance sheet liability side, taxes expense, profit and loss account debit, bank balance asset, current assets, balance sheet asset side, cash balance, balance sheet asset side, insurance premium expense debited to profit and loss account. Loan from UTI is already recorded. Now find out the profit, total of the credit side of profit and loss account is 240,000, deduct therefrom, balance is debited to profit and loss account, you will get the net profit 1,19,500. This 1,19,500 profit is transferred to the credit side of profit and loss account. Now find the profit before commission. So total of credit side of profit and loss appropriation account is 1,21,720. Deduct there from 10,000. So you will get profit before commission. So credit side of profit and loss appropriation account as I told to you 1,21,720 minus 10,000 10, total of debit profit before commission 1,11,720. Now we are required to give commission at the rate of 5% on the profit after deducting such commission. Suppose that profit after commission is 10, then commission at the rate of 5% payable is 5. Profit before commission amounts to 105. If 105 is the profit before commission, then 5 is the commission. How much for 1,11,720? If you calculate that amounts to, if you multiply 5 upon 105 to the profit before commission, you get 5,320 commission to be paid. Commission to be paid, debited to profit and loss appropriation account and credited to Bunsen's capital account. Now find the divisible profit after commission. So divisible profit after commission is the difference in profit and loss appropriation account that is 1,6400. This 1,6400 is to be distributed as agreed by the partners. 
half the profit thereof means 53,200 and 53,200 is the half division of this profit. Half the profit distributed equally and remaining half in the capital proportion. Capital proportion is 120 is to 80. So capital proportion works out to be 3 is to 2. So 53,200 distributed equally. So every partner get 26,600 each and 53,200 distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2. For only you will get 53,200 into 3 by 5, 31,920 and for Bansri you will get 53,200 into 2 by 5, 21,280. So total profit received by Morley 58,250. Profit and loss appropriation account debit to Morley's capital account credit and same way amount received by Bansri is 47,800. Profit and loss appropriation account debit to Bansri's capital account credit. Now after profit distribution let's close the capital accounts of the partners. Total of credit minus total of debit. Total of credit for Mool is 1,84,520. Deduct there from 21,000. You will get a balance of 1,63,520. Same way if you work out the balance for Bansi it will be 1,11,980. This capital balance will appear on the balance sheet liability side and if you try to balance the balance sheet total on both the sides agree that is 5,13,000.